Hey, what's going on out there uh, to all my subscribers? My name is Desmond Collins. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you the basic components of framing. Uh, we're going to start right here. Right here, you got your bottom plate. Right here, you got your wall studs. Right here, we got fire blocking. And the purpose of that is to keep fire from going from one floor to the next. It also serves two purposes. Keeps your studs from wanting to twist. Walking into this next room, you see a framed window opening. Right here, we got our, our header, which transfers the load of this opening from here down to the foundation. Right here, you got your king stud that runs from the plate, bottom plate, all the way up to the top plate. Uh, right here, you got your you got your trimmer studs that support the header, and then you're going to have your cripples that go from the bottom plate up to the window sill. Uh, you also notice you got a double top plate, which is pretty typical of wall framing. Uh, most residential framing, you're going to have 16 centers, which means from the center of this stud to the next going to be 16 inches, uh, but that can vary. Right here, we've got our ceiling joists. Uh, these are Bursa lambs. Uh, it's made up of compressed plies with glue. Uh, very strong. Actually supposed to be stronger than natural wood that's milled at a lumber, lumber yard. Right here, we've got our shear panel. Uh, the purpose of shear panel is to keep the wall from racking uh, from side to side. We'll continue on. Okay, walking down the stairs. Okay, this is called a stringer. It supports the treads and risers for your stairs. So, uh, when you're cutting stairs, you're cutting your um, when you're cutting your stringer. It's usually going to be a it's going to be a 11 inch rise. I mean, sorry about that. Seven inch rise with 11 inch run. Uh, these are your treads that you step on, and these are called your risers that come up on the side. So that's the component of a stringer. Right here we have another opening. All openings and walls are going to have headers to transfer the load from the header down to the foundation. And here we have our pressure treated mud seal because it's coming in contact with the CMU wall or cement masonry unit or concrete. You're going to always go with pressure treated because it, it uh, it's going to keep this material from dry rot or termites, and this is serving as a base for your wall framing. So you're always going to go with pressure treated on that. And uh, that's pretty much the basic components of framing. Right here we have a short pony wall. Uh, it's just a fancy name for a short wall. Uh, it can be a, called a short cripple wall or pony wall. So, yeah, this is my basic. This is basic framing. Uh, I will be doing more videos like this to inform you. But right now, this is the one I'm doing today. Uh, once again, my name is Desmond, the author of The Black Carpenter's Guide. Uh, if you're interested in my book, you can check it out at Amazon.com. Or if you're thinking about a career in construction, uh, you can check that book out as well. All right. Thanks.